Hello guys, as per freaking usual, I've got some shit to say to my fans beforehand. One, thanks for the support on the movie countdown. I'm still, well, I'm, I've been crank, cranking out heaps of them editing. And, but there's something I want to say. My copyright strike is finally gone. Didn't expire, so I gave email, I mean, I gave email or YouTube. I gave YouTube an email asking about it and uh, they just got a message back today. Your strike has been resolved. Boom! Strike gone. Be gone, long video restriction. Be gone, other shit that strikes limit you from having, although I still don't have custom thumbnails, so don't know what the deal is there. But that way I can make my top 10, top 50 movies episodes a lot longer, so that will get through it a bit quicker. But I'm, I'm not going to make them huge, because it's a lot to sit through, a big chunk to work on, and then it will just kill my computer, taking ages to render and upload each thing. So I need, I'm going to keep the episodes to preferably below half an hour. I'll probably make them around 20 to 25 minutes mostly. Um, that'll start as of episode 4, because I've already, I've already uh, rendered number 3 in as a short one. But yeah, uh, thanks for the support. And to people who aren't enjoying me doing all these movie reviews and all the movie videos, because I've had someone say, is this a rant channel or is this a movie review channel? I don't know what this channel This is just my channel, you know? This is Jacob's channel, Inside Jacob's Mind. I've, I've decided to just say fuck it and just do what I enjoy. And I'm, I'm by no means saying I'm stopping doing rants, because rants, I really enjoy doing rants, if not more than all this movie shit. But I don't want to turn into one of these kids who just, um, I don't want to turn into one of these kids who just rants about shit they don't care about. So, I only do rants not as often as I used to because I don't really have any good ideas. I mean, I'm not asking for ideas. But I don't want to just slap together anything that I'm not really passionate about. I don't want to be one of these people who just takes some article off the internet and talks about it and just fakes passion and everything. I want to be ranting about stuff I'm passionate about. So every time I have a little glowing light bulb for a good rant, something that I actually care about, I'll, I'll do it. And this is just a fill-in. This is what I enjoy. The channel is inside Jacob's mind. It's my release from life. It's where I can just talk about and do what I want. And yeah, so yeah, if you don't like all... I got cut off there. So if you don't like all this movie shit, I'm sorry. I don't really like disappointing people. But honestly, what else am I going to do when I don't have good ideas for rants? Um countdowns and shit and fucking other other shit as I say. But uh yeah, so just skip skip the movie shit if you're not enjoying it. I'm enjoying it and uh yeah, strike's gone, so that's good. And uh I'm tomorrow I'm going away for a few days, uh going just out of town so I won't be making videos but I've got a lot of shit edited. Well a couple countdown entries are this and maybe a couple other videos I have planned so before I go I'm just gonna set them all to upload so they'll probably come up soon hopefully if if I edit them in time that's the thing like you could just get this in one other video maybe but uh yeah if I edit it all in time but nothing I'm not gonna be able to make anything for the next three or three or so days but rabble 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 uh let's get to the review Man of Steel a secret what was I supposed to do just let him die. Maybe. I have so many questions. Where do I come from? You just have to decide what kind of man you want to grow up to be, Clark. Whoever that man is, he's gonna change the world. Man of Steel, Superman is DC's first hit this year, uh, and it was a success, but not not good enough for. I don't I don't think they're gonna make a Justice League movie. Marvel is still kicking the shit out of them. Iron Man three remains the best superhero movie of the year so far. So far, I've still got more. We've got Wolverine coming, we've got... Well, I guess that's kind of a superhero movie, it's Marvel. And then we've got fucking... Thor coming, we've got... And one that I'm really hoping is good, Kick-Ass 2. <laughs> and, uh... 
But yeah, Man of Steel kind of disappointed me. I'm not saying it was bad. I'm saying, still go see it if you're way into superheroes and shit. But, I don't know, it was very hyped up. So I guess it disappointed a lot of people, especially Superman fanboys, I guess. Although it's probably it's a step up from the recent ones, which are probably crap. But let me just say now. As I said a lot in reviews, I don't know jack shit about Superman. Like, I haven't seen any of the other fucking movies. So I don't know crap about Superman. So this is like my first impression here. And, uh, yeah, you know. Uh, stars Henry Cavill. I think he plays a good Superman. Like, he fits the role well. Uh, but he was too serious. He had a few happy, jokey moments, but. Superman should be oozing charm, and he's just, I don't know, everything was just too serious, like, when he's flying, oh, when I first learned how to fly, I would have been like, holy fucking shit, I'm flying, but no, he's just like, ha ha ha, come on, show a bit more enthusiasm, man, uh, who else we got, Amy Adams plays Lois Lane, the, his, the, love interest female person. Amy Adams is a good actress, she did that part well. Uh, Russell Crowe, who I'm a fan of, he actually got a lot of screen time as Jor-El. Uh, Superman's dad, he did good. Uh, Michael Shannon playing General Zod, he did good in the role, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say something, I don't know if anyone else felt this, but I couldn't take him 100% seriously, because his face made me laugh. I don't know why, just, his face made me laugh. I don't know, just the moment I saw him in the theatre, his face just cracked me up laughing. Jaren too, but... <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to let that get <laughs> get in my way a bit, because it was a good performance. I'm not going to say he owned the role. This is General Zod. I can't see anyone else playing him. I mean, that's not true. Um, but he did do a good job. Most most of the acting in this movie was pretty good. Uh, it was... The special effects were cool, although there was a big freaking overuse of it. Uh, it was just boring though, the movie is just a bit boring. A lot of it, a lot of the flashbacks and stuff were fairly cliche, like, like uh, the, the bullies picking on him, like hitting him and he's like, fight back, come on Kent, fight back. He's like, I can't fight back. But yeah, I don't know, I didn't really, for some reason. And this movie brought to life one of the greatest insults I've ever heard. Dick Splash. <laughs> About like three out of the first four funny moments were like penis or piss jokes or something. But yeah, the movie should have had a lot more charm and fun and stuff. But uh, it was boring for a lot of it. It moved along really slowly. This movie was far too long. <laughs> uh, I'm not really, I don't know, I'm being a bit lazy with this review, but uh, the product placements. There were lots of product placements. You see him crash into a fucking... There's a 7-Eleven, there's an IHOP, and there's a Sears. I'm not even sure what Sears is. Oh, no, it's some American business or something. But, yeah, like, they're, in, they're fighting in the town of Smallville, so all the buildings are just nothings, like little local businesses of faded writing you can't see. And then, shining in the background while they're fighting, the big Sears sign, like, <laughs> completely, like, seeable, crystal clear, while all the other buildings are just... Like, random buildings, you don't even see what they are. And, like, they fly, and you always see the Sears sign in the background until they crash into it. And, like, the the sign's untouched. Same thing happened with IHOP and 7-Eleven. They crash into them, but the sign's untouched. Yeah, 7-Eleven. Yeah, IHOP. I mean, come on. Why do, you, why do you need such blatant product placements? In the final fight, it kind of fell apart. I'm sorry. It just, the big set. How many skyscrapers can Superman fall into? Just like, how many buildings can they just crush through? It it got annoying to a point, and uh, throughout the action scene, you just wanted it to end, you know. Uh, the villains team was pretty cool. This chick, this chick villain on the team was pretty badass and stuff. Uh, the movie was it was cool. The, my favorite part of the movie was probably one of the flashbacks involving uh, a backstory with Superman. Clark Kent's dad, like his adoptive dad on Earth, that was probably a pretty touching scene with the tornado, yeah, Jaron mentioned that in his review, uh, that was probably one of the best parts of the movie for me, uh, 
But yeah, it just disappointed me considering all the hype around it and everything and the fact that Christopher Nolan was involved. Christopher fucking Nolan, he is he's a fucking great movie creator. Not he didn't direct it. I think it said he co wrote it. Co wrote it. I was looking on Rotten Tomatoes. Apparently he co wrote it. I mean Christopher Nolan co wrote this this script should have been so much fucking better. I mean ah. He produced it too. Why would you pick Zack Snyder as the director? Yeah, he's a great visual director, but he made that piece of crap sucker punch. I mean, I don't know. This movie reeks of missed opportunity. I don't know. I don't. I don't necessarily know how it could make it better. And it sounds like I'm just taking all the bad, but I didn't hate it. It was an entertaining blockbuster. Uh, the best things about it: the acting was good. Superman was a good character. Like Cavill was a good Superman. Special effects looked nice, despite there was too much of them. Some some scenes were really cool and affecting and stuff, but some scenes were just kind of lame and boring and uh, I don't know. The movie, this movie, seriously, if it was a bit shorter, I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more. I have to wrap this up, so I'm going to get to rating Man of Steel. Uh, it wasn't bad, but it was by far not the best movie I've seen all year, and I'm going to give Man of Steel a 6.8 out of 10. So yeah, that's a pretty low rating by my standards considering I've given about five movies like nine and above but huh yeah I really didn't I'm not I keep saying I didn't enjoy it but I did but it could have been so much better and it kind of bored me some stuff didn't make sense and annoyed me but yeah man I still go see it if you're into these big action blockbusters and if you're a Superman fan and you just want to see what it's like but uh, you're probably better off spending your money on something like Despicable Me 2 or something. <laughs> Not that I've seen Despicable Me 2, but that review will come when I see it. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for listening to my bullshit, and uh, have a good day.